another session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that a test about general awareness was conducted on seven students of different classes and the mark scores are observed as follows. That is, this data is given to us in which the student's class is given as 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12 and the corresponding marks scored are 10, 12, 14, 16, 17, 21 and 22. Then first part, find a line of best fit and second part, estimate the probable score of a student who is of class 4. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know some results. First is, now we know that the regression line always passes through the point x mark y bar, that is the mean. Therefore, the regression equation of y on x is given by y minus y bar is equal to b y x into x minus x bar the whole where x bar is the mean value of x y bar is the mean value of y and d y x is the regression coefficient of y on x and d y x is equal to summation dx into dy over summation dx squared where dx is equal to x minus x bar and dy is equal to y minus y bar. That is, dx and dy are the deviations of the variable x and y from the arithmetic means of the series. And to determine the line of regression means to determine the line of best fit. Now these results will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. First of all, we will draw a table for the given data. So we have drawn a table for the given data. In the first column, we have written the student's class and we are representing it by x. And in the second column, we have written the marks scored and we are representing it by y. And in the next column, we will find dx, then dy. Then in the next column dx into dy and the next column dx square and in the last column dy square. Now by adding all the values of x, we are getting summation x is equal to 63. And on adding all the values of y, we are getting summation y is equal to 112. Now we will find the mean value of x which is denoted by x bar which is equal to summation x by the number of observations which are n which is equal to now summation x is 63 and number of observations are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So this is equal to 9. And mean value of y which is y bar is equal to summation y by n which is equal to now summation y is 112 by n is 7. So this is equal to 16. Therefore dx is equal to x minus x bar which will be x minus 9 and dy will be equal to y minus y bar and y bar is 16. Now we will calculate dx and dx will be x minus 9. Now here x is 6 and 6 minus 9 will give minus 3. Here x is 7 
and 7 minus 9 is minus 2. Now 8 minus 9 is minus 1. 9 minus 9 is 0. 10 minus 9 is 1. 11 minus 9 is 2. And 12 minus 9 is 3. Now we will calculate dy. For this, we will subtract 16 from the different values of y. Where y is 10, so 10 minus 16 will give minus 6. 12 minus 16 will give minus 4. 14 minus 16 will give minus 2. 16 minus 16 will give 0. 17 minus 16 will give 1. 21 minus 16 is 5. And 22 minus 16 is 6. Now we will calculate dx into dy. So we will multiply the values of dx and dy. Minus 3 into minus 6 will be 18. Minus 2 into minus 4 will be 8. Minus 1 into minus 2 will be 2. 0 into 0 is 0. 1 into 1 is 1. 2 into 5 is 10. And 3 into 6 is 18. Now we will square the different values of dx. And we will put the result in this column. So where dx is minus 3, so its square will be 9. Here it is minus 2 and its square is 4. Minus 1 and its square is 1. Then 0. Then 1. Then 2 square is 4 and 3 square is 9. And now in the last column, we will square the different values of dy. Then minus 6 square is 36. Minus 4 square is 16. Minus 2 square is 4. Then 0. Then 1. Then 25. And then 36. Now on adding the values of dx into dy, we get summation dx into dy is equal to 57. Summation dx square is equal to 28 and summation dy square is equal to 118. Now in the first part we have to find a line of best fit. Now to determine the line of regression means to determine the line of best fit. So by using this result we will determine the regression equation of y on x. The line of best fit, that is, the regression line of y on x is given by the equation y minus y bar is equal to b y x into x minus x bar the whole. Which implies y minus y bar is equal to summation dx into dy over summation dx square into x minus x bar the whole. Now x bar is 9, y bar is 16, summation dx into dy is 57 and summation dx square is 28. So putting all these values here, this implies y minus 16 is equal to 57 by 28 into x minus 9 the whole. So on cross multiplying this implies 28y minus 448 is equal to 57x minus 530 which further gives 57x minus 28y minus 65 is equal to 0 which is a line of best fit. So in the second part it is given that a student of class 4 means x is equal to 4. Now we have to determine the probable score. That means we have to determine the value of y. Since the line of regression of y and x 
that is this line gives best estimate of y for the given x therefore we will put x is equal to 4 in this equation let it be equation a so we will put x is equal to 4 in a then we get 57 into 4 minus 28y minus 65 is equal to 0, which implies 228 minus 65 is equal to 28y, which further gives 163 is equal to 28y, and this implies y is equal to 163 by 28, which is equal to 5.8. Therefore, y is equal to 6 to the nearest integer hence the probable score of a student of class 4 is 6. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.